The story of smartphones has always been a story of evolution. From simple devices meant only for calls and messages, we moved into a world ruled by powerful pocket-sized computers that carry our entire lives inside them. But something interesting has happened over the last decade. Smartphones became so similar that people often struggle to tell one brand apart from another. The experience is increasingly controlled, closed, and locked down especially within Android's heavily customized ecosystem and Apple's strict iOS environment. In a world where users want more freedom, more privacy, more customization, and more control, another revolution has slowly been building its foundation, quietly growing year after year. And now, it is beginning to catch global attention. That revolution is Linux on phones. Many people still believe Linux is only for PCs, servers, or cybersecurity labs. But the truth is, Linux-based mobile systems are already shaping the next generation of smartphones. The future of mobile computing isn't coming someday, it has already started. To understand why Linux on phones is becoming more relevant, we need to look at what people are starting to demand from their mobile devices. Think about the amount of control regular users have lost over time. Modern smartphones tell you what apps you can install, how your files are organized, what background processes can run which features you're allowed to modify, and what level of customization is acceptable. Locked bootloaders, ads baked into system apps, restricted file systems, forced cloud syncing, and constant data collection have made smartphones feel less like personal devices and more like rented machines. People cannot change their default apps, cannot repair their own hardware in many cases, and cannot remove bloatware without rooting. On top of that, privacy concerns are now bigger than ever, with companies collecting every tap, swipe, location, and audio snippet. This is exactly why Linux phones represent a very different direction for the future. Instead of smartphones becoming more locked down, Linux phones promise a world where devices are open, customizable, user-controlled, and privacy-friendly. The Linux ecosystem is based on freedom, not restrictions. On Linux phones, the user has root access, meaning they own the system entirely. You can uninstall anything, change anything, modify the kernel, install custom desktop environments, or even swap your entire operating system if you wish. It is truly your device. But the question many people ask is, are Linux phones actually ready for everyday use? The answer is both yes and no and. That's what makes this transition so interesting. Linux phones may not dominate the mainstream market today, but the movement is gaining momentum faster than anyone expected. Devices like the PinePhone, PinePhone Pro, Purism Lebrum 5, and Volaphone have proven something very important. Linux on mobile is no longer a dream or an experiment. It's real, functional, and improving rapidly. These phones already support calls, SMS, 4G, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth cameras, multitasking app stores, and even desktop modes on many distributions. But more importantly, they offer features no Android or iPhone can match. Imagine connecting your phone to a monitor and instantly turning it into a full Linux desktop. Imagine installing full PC applications, GIMP, LibreOffice, VLC, Firefox Desktop, VS Code, Audacity Write on your phone, just like on a laptop. Imagine having a phone where you can open a terminal and control everything down to the kernel. Imagine having no trackers, no bloatware, no ads, and no hidden processes, constantly monitoring your data. These are not fantasies. They are real features available on Linux phones right now for developers, ethical hackers, system admins, and privacy conscious users. Linux phones are a dream come true. And for normal users, they offer something smartphones have been missing for decades, independence and ownership. The rise of Linux phones also represents something bigger happening across the tech industry. There is a growing push for open source ecosystems, free software and decentralization. People are waking up to the idea that closed systems are not the only option. Just look at what happened in the desktop world. Linux went from being a niche hobbyist system to powering almost all servers, cloud platforms, AI models, supercomputers, and even Chromebooks. The same pattern is starting to unfold in the mobile world. The smartphone market has been stuck in a duopoly for too long, and Linux offers a refreshing alternative that aligns with modern user values, privacy, control, transparency, and flexibility. Another reason the Linux smartphone movement is accelerating 
is the rise of convergent computing. Convergence is the idea that your phone can replace your laptop, desktop, and tablet all at once. Android has tried versions of this and Apple has talked about it, but Linux phones already do it. Most mobile Linux distributions use the same package managers and desktop environments, as PCs. That means one device can be both your daily smartphone and your full desktop computer. For example, Ubuntu Touch offers a seamless experience that transforms from phone UI to desktop UI when connected to a monitor. Postmarketos is based on Alpine Linux and can run thousands of desktop applications out of the box. Kday Plasma Mobile brings a polished, modern, and highly customizable interface that feels futuristic. GNOME-based mobile systems deliver a minimal but powerful environment that syncs perfectly with GNOME desktops. These technologies aren't future concepts. They're here today, evolving rapidly, month by month. A big driving factor behind Linux on phones is user demand for privacy. Privacy has become a global issue, not just a nerd topic. People want devices that don't constantly spy on them, track them, sell their data, or monitor their behavior. Linux phones are built on the principle of transparency. They use open source code, meaning anyone can inspect how the software works. There are no hidden trackers, no background processes harvesting data, and no mysterious logs being sent to unknown servers. Labrem 5 even includes hardware kill switches to physically cut off the microphone, camera, Wi-Fi, and baseband modem. That level of control is unmatched in any mainstream smartphone today. We're also seeing major companies indirectly support Linux on phones without even realizing it. Thanks to Android's reliance on the Linux kernel, many hardware components already have Linux-compatible drivers. Projects like Wadroid allow users to run full Android apps inside Linux phones using containerization giving the best of both worlds. Open source power with access to mainstream apps. Developers are even working on GPU acceleration on Linux phones to enable gaming and high-performance apps. The more people test, contribute, develop, and experiment, the faster the ecosystem grows. One of the most exciting developments in the Linux phone movement is something that most people don't talk about. The community. Ah! Unlike closed smartphone brands, Linux phones thrive on collective innovation. Developers from around the world contribute to improving drivers, optimizing performance, polishing UI elements, and building new apps. Every update is shaped by community ideas. Every bug fix is shared globally. Every improvement benefits everyone immediately. The culture of collaboration makes Linux phones evolve faster than any closed system ever could. But what does the future look like? Will Linux phones replace Android and iPhones? The short answer is... Maybe not immediately, but they will reshape the industry significantly. Just like Linux reshaped servers, cloud computing, cybersecurity, and AI. It will push mobile technology toward more open and ethical directions. We will likely see hybrid models where mainstream phones adopt open source components, more customizable interfaces, and more privacy-focused features simply because users demand them. Even Google has started pushing Android open source project development, and encouraging open hardware standards. Meanwhile, big brands are experimenting with desktop modes, modular OS architectures, and secure boot options ideas, heavily inspired by Linux. Another interesting aspect of the future of Linux phones is education. Schools, universities, and technical institutes around the world already teach Linux for programming, engineering, AI, and cybersecurity. Imagine students using a Linux phone that doubles as their coding environment, research laptop, and STEM lab. The same device can run Android apps during the day and become a full Linux workstation at night. This flexibility is going to appeal to millions of learners and tech professionals. But the real breakthrough will come from performance. Hardware manufacturers are beginning to understand that open source mobile software needs better support. As Pine 6.4 and Purism create more powerful chipsets optimized for Linux, other companies may follow. The growth of RISC-V processors in open-source CPU architecture will further strengthen Linux phones because RISC-V is built around open-source principles. Imagine a completely open phone, open hardware, open bootloader, open operating system, and open apps. That is the direction the market is slowly but surely moving toward. Of course, Linux phones are not perfect today. They still face challenges battery optimization mobile app availability, camera quality, and hardware acceleration are not yet on par with mainstream phones. 
but these gaps are closing. And remember something important. Android took years to become stable and polished. iOS took years to reach maturity. Linux phones are in their early growth phase, but the pace of development is faster than what we saw in the early days of Android because the global open source community is pushing it forward. The most beautiful thing about Linux on phones is that it brings back the essence of technology. It reminds us that devices should belong to the user, not the corporation. It gives people the freedom to tinker, explore, modify, and optimize. It gives developers a playground with no limitations. It gives privacy, conscious users, peace of mind. It gives students a powerful learning tool. It gives creators an adaptable machine. It gives professionals a portable computer. It gives the world something it has been missing for a long time. Digital independence. The future of smartphones will not be dominated by companies that restrict users. The future will be shaped by communities, innovation, transparency, and collaboration. Linux phones are more than devices. They are a movement toward a world where technology empowers people instead of controlling them. And this revolution has already begun. It is happening in developer labs, in open source communities, in GitHub repositories, in small but passionate companies, and in the hands of users who are tired of the typical smartphone experience. Ten years from now, when people look back, they will realize that the rise of Linux phones marked the beginning of a new era in mobile technology. An era where smartphones return to their roots as tools of empowerment, creativity, and freedom. An era where the user is in control. An era where privacy is respected. An era where your phone is not just a phone nits, your computer, your workspace, your notebook, your creative studio, your server, your development machine, and your fully personal digital companion. Linux on phones is not the future that might come someday. It is a future that is already unfolding, one update at a time, one device at a time, one user at a time. Whether you're a developer, a privacy advocate, a creator, a student, or just someone curious about new technology. This revolution has something for you. Smartphone innovation is finally alive again, and Linux is leading the way. The era of open, powerful, user-owned smartphones has officially begun, and it's only going to get bigger from here.